Yep, she's back on the trailer, guys. Come out to the farm to do a special video for you. It's been quite a while. Um, I'm gonna do a start on that. We were hauling cattle, what's your way over there? And uh, it finally got some rain and stuff like that. As you can see, all the water over there. So, but there's a woodpecker out there. Still got the, that car, the BMW, got the Toyota Sakura still. And my Avalanche, I've been driving that out here because I just care, I just want to. So, um, yeah, see it, it rained quite a bit. And this looks like it has been started for probably, I don't want to say a week. It breaks here all like that. Probably should check the oil and stuff. See the windows rolled down again, so it probably rained in there. Got an antifreeze in it. Yep. It'll be a little off balance, but we'll just make sure she has oil on it. Oh yeah, she's full. Um, we didn't push it too hard when we hauled cattle. Maybe try to start that brown forward today too for you guys before it gets late. Start this first. Let's see if I can. This is a year later, I'd say. Uh, I recorded uh, a video I just looked at. I think it was in June uh, of it uh, starting it in the same exact spot with the cow trailer on it. I rolled the swindle up with this redneck thing that came with it. There, rained in here. As you can see. Honey, see if you have the difference of the miles from current before. Let's see. 364,073. So we put, uh, let's say we put about 40 or about 100, 200 miles on it. Probably that's it. Hardly goes anywhere. Can't. I don't want to drive it because it's hooked to a trailer, but you can see that thing still runs beautiful.
can use my truck. So let's uh, do some more updates on vehicles. This is the famous truck. I got the most views on the Fords. No surprise there because people love Fords.